Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my reaction channel. My name is Teddy Nanny and today we're going to be reacting to the news. Something very different than what is usually on this channel. Now normally it's a video that I react to, and by normally I mean every other time I've uploaded something to this channel it has been me reacting to a video. Unless I go off on tangent and look up something random. Uh, but today it's going to be the news. More specifically a very particular part of the news. More specifically, the Department of Justice seeks new emergency powers amid the coronavirus pandemic and it's not just directed towards american news this is directed towards the idea of restricting human rights on or on or during this pandemic and my thoughts and feelings about it because i'm trying to wrap my brain around things and i've been stuck at home for the past week or so because university has been canceled and i've been laid off so i've been going mildly stir crazy so, I'm just going to kind of ramble at a camera, and if you want to watch this, by all means. If you don't, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> but, I don't know. I, I, feel, I feel like I have some perspective on this, maybe. I don't know. Now, saying that, I'm not American. So, talking on American politics shouldn't be a Canadian's position mm, weird weird way to put it i'm yeah so i'm not i'm not going to cast too many disparages towards america even though frankly america's handling this terribly and their and y'all's healthcare system is frankly collapsing uh because you're just not testing anyone granted italy's is collapsing as well i don't think anyone is actually prepared for this nonsense see again that's where it comes from i i always pull myself this is, i don't have a script I'm just going to say that now. I don't have a script. I'm just going to ramble for however long I feel like I'm going to ramble for. Uh, so deal with it, I suppose. Um, I might do a video later today. I might not. I don't really know. But let's get back on to whatever the fuck this topic was. So, the thing I want to talk about was governments shutting down human rights during this pandemic... And whether or not that is an acceptable thing to do, or whether or not... Like, is, is it a good thing to do, or does it lead to potential dangers? Now, I... It, it's this weird topic in my mind, because I'm, try, I'm trying to spin it in every direction, trying to understand it. Like, if we, if we look at Italy and how they shut down they're basically being like you can't leave your city you can't leave your home you can't unless it's essential business or you're going out to go get groceries or other things like that like they're everything is shut down everything is locked down just stay the fuck home right and in Italy you can get arrested I do, I do believe if you go out without a purpose and then you can get either fined or I believe jailed I, I, I believe that's a thing and in China, China is burning people alive and welding people into buildings. If you guys haven't seen that, I'm going to pull it up for you real fast. China, uh, metal box truck. Metal box truck, yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna show you this, this little lovely video. If you haven't seen it, it's, it's, it's quite impressive. Hopefully that loads up. No, yeah, there it goes. Is this the video? Yeah, here it is. Do, 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 do. This has nothing to do with anything, but China is breaking all rights. Forcing woman into metal box. And you can hear the screaming of the woman in said metal box. This was from a while ago. But, that's the thing that China's doing. So obviously China's completely breaking all human guidelines and that uh, and human rights. And that's to be expected because they're insane. But now we're starting to see Western countries delve into the interesting idea of suspending human rights. Uh, so for it to... So here the... One of the requests Congress would allow the Department of J the Department to petition a judge to indefinitely detain someone during an emergency, which revokes the right of habeas corpus. So, 
hears different people saying hell no. Schumer says hell no, which is good. But if you look through here, like, it's try to suspend habeas corpus, which is the right to a fair trial, to if you get proven innocent, you can be let go and other things like that. And the Department of Justice is seemingly trying to, at least parts of Congress are seemingly trying to make it so that the Department of Justice can pretty much do whatever the hell it wants. Now, here's where it gets spooky. Because I, I understand to a certain extent where that's coming from, right? Because you want to be able to stop people from being stupid. Because there is, there is a certain type of person, and we're seeing it more and more that they are out there, of people that are just too stupid to function in normal society. Now, we've always known they were out there. We, we've always known they were out there. But it's really coming to the forefront that there is none in, in, blah, 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 in, in, blah, 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 in, in, insignificant po portion of the population that is just too stupid to breathe. Like, they will go out and party on a beach. Or they'll go out, and like in my area, they'll all go down to the fucking river and have a gay old time. And then be like, oh, why are you guys mad? And it's like, what? Or they'll go to the a mall and steal all the toilet paper or whatever the hell. Or that guy in BC who stole the meat. I don't know if you guys heard about this. BC meat. BC couple who bought an entire st <laughs> section of meat since they're living in fear. Yeah. So, I'm not feeling safe. Me and my girlfriend are scared. You bought an entire store's worth of meat and people are pissed. Yeah, yeah. You we're, we're... This virus is bringing out interesting things in people. So, I can see why, to a certain extent, holding people and just being like, you're functionally too stupid to function in normal society. So, we're just going to arrest you and put you over there where you can't leave just by law you can't leave so shut the fuck up go over there because you can't function but i also completely understand the other side which is that is spooky especially understanding how far right america has gone especially after 9 11 with all of the security theater and all the other nonsense that was with the patriot act and other things like that where america has severely overstepped its bounds in human rights, but it seems very few Americans seemingly care about that particular interesting deviation. You can blame that on Bush. So it's this interesting time, especially in American politics, and with what was that Congress trying to pass through no encryption? They were trying to pass through no encryption, so they're also using this as a time to completely break human rights in the U.S. or break rights and social rights in the U.S. And this is likely happening around the world. I haven't noticed many stories in Canada, per se, but Canadians are very good at hiding what we're doing rather than actually talking about it in the open. So it could be happening here, too, but because America is our neighbor and this is the one that most people tend to focus on, it's the one I noticed first, uh, apart from, you know, India and uh, China, but... India is becoming rapidly nationalistic and fascist, and China is just fascist. They call themselves communist, but they're not fucking communist. If they're they're a nationalistic authoritarian government, which is basically fascism. They operate basically like fascism, so they're they're not communist. Granted, communism's pretty shit too. Out of the out of. <sighs> this was such a rambly video. I don't even know why the fuck I made it. <laughs> Nine minutes of nonsense. <sighs> yeah, I was hoping that I would come up with something interesting during this topic and have some grand revelation and other things like that, but I just wanted to talk. I just wanted to rant. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, that's that's it for me for this video. There might be more like this. I might try to make this more cohesive in in some future time. I don't know. Interesting times we're living in, and I just wanted to talk about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna call this a vlog. <laughs>
<laughs> Love you guys. I'll try to make a normal video later today. And I'm all, I'll also try to, you know, actually do my homework. But we'll we'll see. We'll see, we'll see about me doing homework. Who knows? Failing classes is also an awesome choice. Alright, peace guys. I'll see you in the next one.